So one of the most intriguing teams, I think, in this 2024 NBA draft is actually going to be the Chicago Bulls for a ton of different reasons. Not only is, I think, their pick going to be really interesting, but we've heard this could finally be the offseason for them where they are going to make a ton of potential moves. Again, we know DeMar DeRozan is a free agent, of course, whether he leaves for free or not or they bring him back on a sign and trade. We know Patrick Williams, I believe, is a free agent. How much money are they going to have to pay him? Would they, again, consider a sign and trade for that player? We know Zach Levine trade rumors have been happening for a long time. And of course, I think the most important one that is really cool for the Chicago Bulls to see is that we know Lonzo Ball is hopefully going to return and play from injury next season. So I genuinely believe the Chicago Bulls have a really good opportunity here to maybe put a point guard alongside Lonzo Ball. And that's kind of what I've based this pick off. And uh, at least of, uh, again, with my research, how, what, what the positional need, I think they need. It also happens that I think the best player available at this pick so far for me is a point guard. Again, if you're wondering why I didn't take a specific player or another player with this pick, I do highly recommend you guys go and check out my official 2024 NBA mock draft, which will be getting linked in the description down below. That way you get to see who I have all the other teams taking and whatnot. And yeah, I guess it just makes it much easier in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, I guess their favorite dude, let's just get straight into it with who I think the Chicago Bulls should select with the 11th overall pick. We're starting off with the 11th pick which is going to the Chicago Bulls. And again, I've taken the guy who I think is absolutely perfect for this Bulls team, not just based on that he's, I think, probably best available, um, but also I think he just fits Chicago really well. And that actually happens to be Stephon Castle out of UConn, the six foot six guard, who of course did just make it to the championship game in March Madness. Again, really, really good player who I think just fits this Chicago Bulls team perfectly. They're going to be in search for a guard, I believe, for most of the season. We know they have had Kobe White playing point guard minutes a lot. And then, of course, DeMar Rosen really being like the point forward for the majority of the season as well. Again, Lonzo Ball is expected to hopefully play some basketball next season. We'll see how that goes. But they're going to be definitely looking for a guy I think to replace Lonzo and have been looking for the last two to three years. And I think, of course, Stefan Castle really comes in and helps out. He's a really good defender, in my opinion. Oddly enough, good, good shot creator that a lot of people don't talk about enough. I don't think he's scoring his points per game really defined how good he can be with that. Again, he averaged 11.1 points per game on 4.7 rebounds as being said that he's actually got comparisons a bit to a somewhat defensive type of Markel Fultz which I really like there's actually a a scout here that said I've gone back and forth in my opinion on Stefan Castle during the draft cycle but I can finally have come to the conclusion that he's simply too good at too many things to not be highly ranked he's one of the best defenders in the whole draft he gets to the rim absolutely more than everyone in the draft, not named Isaiah Collier. And he's really come around as a passer and an off-ball mover. Again, the concerning thing with Stefan Castle does happen to be his shooting, where he is very, very below average. But we know Markel Fultz has kind of been like that in his NBA career, um, unfortunately, which kind of sucked because he was known for his shot creation before he came into the draft. But he's been known as a guy who can play some decent defense, but can play make and ball handle, but can also just be a good scorer with getting to the rim. And that's why I think that I really like that comparison of Castle to Markel Fultz. The difference is with the Chicago Bulls is though, is that the Bulls have a ton of scoring. In fact, they probably have some of the best scorers low key in the NBA. They've of course got Zach Levine, Kobe White, and DeMar DeRozan all there, and Nikola Vucevic as another option if you need some scoring as well. I think they just need a guy to come in and ball handle, play make, and defend. And if they just said to Castle and they were just like, look, that's all we need you to do. You don't need to come in and, again, be a good shooter or be a good scorer straight away because we've already got a ton of that. 
We just need you to come in and play some defense and uh, uh, again, be, be a good playmaker and floor general, just how Lonzo Ball was. I think he can exactly do that for the Chicago Bulls team, and it would absolutely make a ton of sense. Now, some people have also pointed out they don't believe Castle will actually drop to the 11th overall pick where I've got him at. Again, I did actually draft him in my last mock draft with this pick as well. Again, ESPN actually does have him ranked as the ninth best player overall in this draft. You know, I think he's really, really good with a ton of upside. And I, I said this um, in the last video, right? Let's just say Lonzo Ball does come back from his injury. And again, praise up, he does. The, the NBA is better when, of course, Lonzo Ball is playing good basketball. I think we've got to admit and got to kind of realize that in reality, Lonzo Ball is probably not going to play any more than 10 to 15 minutes per night, especially in his first couple games of the season. Again, I still believe he'll probably come back in the second half of the year. But even if he, let's just say he does come back in the first half of the year, there's no way I don't think he would play any more than 10 to 15 minutes per game. We got to remember, this man has legitimately missed like three years of basketball by the time he does return, which is absolutely crazy to think. Last time I think he played was like January 2022. But you know, drafting a guy like Castle, who I think is going to be a big development guy for the Bulls, also helps Lonzo Ball out, because maybe Lonzo Ball could start, and he can, you know, maybe maybe play some stretches where he plays the first six minutes, seven minutes of the game, and then he goes and takes a rest, rests himself, maybe goes back on the bike, keeps things going, and while, of course, he's doing that, then Castle comes on. You've also got Kobe White and Caruso, uh, Caruso if they keep him to play some point guard minutes there too. So I think Castle and Lonzo could both handle the point guard position and really benefit each other out because Lonzo is only going to be able to play probably 15 minutes per night. Again, especially to start off with. Then you've got Castle. He's probably going to be looking for at least 20 minutes per night as well. And some nights less, some nights more, depending how he's playing. Again, he's a development player. So they're going to really work well together. And I think Lonzo will be able to help him develop as well. He's kind of the player that he, you know, that Castle wants to turn into, I would think. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see how that dynamic does go. But yeah, what, a, what an awesome flexibility for the Chicago Bulls, really. Again, because they had a ton of injuries to their bigger men as well. You would had to play Caruso at shooting guard and all these other players bigger the only player you could really play at point guard all season was Kobe White. And then you were looking for other guys like DeMar Rosen to play some point guard. You go from that, like not a lot of flexibility and a lot of um, interchange with your point guard position to all of a sudden now you've got, of course, Lonzo Ball there. You've got Kobe White there. You'd have Stefan Castle there. Javon Carter will probably play more point guard minutes next year instead of having to play bigger as well. Really, I think a ton of things are hopefully starting to work out for the Chicago Bulls. And again, I'm absolutely in love with this pick. So that's why I've got Stefan Castle going pick 11 to Chicago. But of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. What do you guys think of my official 2024 NBA mock draft? Did you guys like it? Did you agree with all my picks or did you not? I'd like to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. Again, subscribe to the channel for less NBA content and NBA news. Also, don't forget to go and check out my gaming channel, my IRL slash flying channel. I don't feel like none of you guys, or enough of you guys, I should say, even know that exists. So go check them out. They're also going to be linked in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.